Quite often I get to thinking how as kids we got by. Like at Christmas time at our house, we couldn't even afford a fire. But we made do with what we had back then when I was young. Dad used to suck a peppermint and we'd all sit around his tongue. Hey guys, Jonah here, back with another Beer 52 Beer Review. Shove on. And here we are, looking through the door of day 16. My God, we are well under 10 days to go now. Um, <coughs> I've still got <coughs> a terrible throat. Um, I'm hoping it's not something a bit more serious. I thought I was all right. And then last night I was like tripping balls. And then having uh, lem sip washed down with paracetamol or the other way around. Anyway, you know what helps with a sore throat? Drinking some damn beer. So let us dive in right and we might try and work out oops, what's happening with this one because this collapsed side it is the last beer but it's now in here but this level below this one has decided to fall apart so holy fuck just trying to get these out it's not easy and now that this has fallen through, it's not going to come out. Right, let's take it through the side. Ha ha! What are you doing about that, day 16? Fuck you. And I don't know if you can see here, but that, you probably can't. That has fallen down a little bit as well. But the one in the, underneath, the whole level has collapsed. So day 24 is now in day 8. Work that out. So yeah the longevity of this box i'm hoping it will last till the end and we're not doing too badly so far but every time we take a heavy one out of, of uh, somewhere above like this one 22 is on the upper tier 21 19 those are all done that's silly you should have put these ones on the top level so it releases takes a bit of pressure off down below but one there one two there oh two there two there so the middle one yeah pa what do i know about designing these kind of things anyway we are looking at 71 brewing co it did focus briefly and then it did and then it decided not to and this one is called 71 extra and you can probably make out the oatmeal stout at 5% and there's the logo 71 brewing and this one's called XS that extra small or something I don't know it's a pretty weird trippy 70s maybe early 80s type weirdness and it says roast barley flakes Scottish oats and dark malts combined to create a robust warming stout with hints of caramel Dried fruit, coffee, and chocolate. We will see. And we've got the trifecta of barley, wheats, and oats. Fantastic. And uh, yeah, 71 Brewing are from Scotland. Hang on. Let me have a look. You can see down below there. I don't usually show you the addresses of the brewery, but in this case, I, come on. Focus, hocus pocus, why don't you focus, damn you. Oh, come on, dude. It's in the zone, there we go. It is Dundee, Belfield Street. So, shout out to Dundee, one of my good buds. Um, lives over in Dundee, in Angus. Uh, I think it's Dundee. Uh, yeah giving it a pressure test because it is a bit this one is quite there we go quite tight like a drum but i've managed not to jizz it all on my uh, all of my trousers so yeah big secure shamold up to you guys i'm pretty sure you're up in dundee aren't you man long time no see speak no hear 
all that kind of jazz. Here we have the beer 52 glass. Let's go for a, a reasonably gentle pour because none of these cans have been in the fridge. And I, I don't know, it's weird. People say you should store them at, you know, cellar temperature, 10 degrees ish. But I like mine from the fridge. So, you know, what's that? Four or five degrees, something like that. And otherwise you get a massive head, which we shall delve into after we've done the obligatory silly photo. So that can go up there with that. Uh, do you remember, I don't know if you, maybe it's me of a certain age, but do you remember they used to have Y fronts, the pants, do you remember Y fronts with that pattern on? <laughs> I was like the dark brown ones with a white trim. Very bizarre. Anyway, um, so we've got two fingers head, which is good. And that foam is looking mighty nice. It's obviously not perfect white, but look at that fluffiness. Absolutely brilliant. And it is hanging around, which is good. <coughs> <coughs> if I cough, I apologise, dear viewer, but hopefully some lubrication of the old pipe work, if you know what I mean, uh, will help me out a bit. So, yeah, let's see what we get. Oh, all I'm getting is some dark, bitter, bitter stuff. But then my nose is gone away with the fairies. But yeah, dark, bitter chocolate. That's what I'm getting. Cheers and beers, guys. Oh, a good stout is something you really need on a cold winter's night. And it is pretty dark. It's dark chocolate, coffee. Trying to pick out the fruits, not really. But you know when you drink a coffee and it's real dark roasted coffee, sometimes <coughs> you get some fruits from the actual coffeeness itself. If that makes sense. So you, you are getting a few sort of roasty uh fruits but yeah they're the main things pretty bitter i have to say that dark chocolate bitterness is giving me quite a bitter aftertaste but there is a little bit of sweetness that i'm feeling i'm not actually tasting it at all but i'm feeling on my lips so that is a good sign indeed we have got some of that head is definitely stuck to the glass I'm going to be very interested to see if we get, there we go, beer 52, if we get a tide line. Let's go in for more beer and let's see what we get this time. Oh, not really. There is a wee, a wee one, but not too much. A little bit disappointed by that. If I, the fact that my uh, my tasting perceptions have gone away with the fairies means that, Jesus Christ, this is probably a very bitter beer. And I just can't taste it at the moment. I am quite enjoying this, though. It's It makes a difference. Dark beers and, and light beers, especially well hot light beers, make just... Yeah, it's two totally separate types of beer. Ooh, quite well carved too. I really like that. Um, obviously, the fashion, the wokeness, if you like, has gone, swung way, way into the hoppy side. Having a hoppy beer is just crazy. But there are people such as me who love their multi beers too. Um, oh, pardon me. 
And sometimes getting a proper chewy, uh, you know, one of those gnarly beers is good. Um, 5% reasonable. I reckon because of the way this tastes, you could probably go a little bit uh, a little bit stronger, maybe a 6% one, that would be nice. Um, and that way you could put a little bit more pale malt in to draw down on the bitterness from the dark malt because it is very bitter. Maybe it will change. We've uh, finished the can off, so <coughs> this is the last bit of the can. But as I say, it shouldn't really matter because the cans are all on their sides. But it does seem to be that the last taste, the last section from the glass, tastes totally different. Not always, but a lot of the time it does. So make of that as you will, dear viewer. Chin chin, pass me some beer. Oh. And I found out that there is another Christmas party that I've kind of half been invited to happening next Friday, which is the 23rd, so Christmas Eve Eve. Um, but I'm actually at work that day, and I don't know if we're gonna finish early. Usually if it's Christmas Eve, we do finish early, but on the 23rd, I don't know if we'll be able to finish early. <coughs> and I don't know if I'm gonna be still feeling absolutely rotten, but we'll see what happens. I might have a couple of sneaky beers anyway. Um, oh, that was nice actually. Maybe less bitterness from the last, uh, the last gulp. Um, maybe a little bit of sweetness, but that coffee taste is still there. Getting lashings of like, yeah, it's, maybe it's more coffee, more sort of leather, more unctuous kind of taste. A little bit sweeter as well. So the bitterness maybe has gone off or maybe the receptors in my uh, taste buds have fired off saying, my God, this is bitter. And then as you get nearer the end of the glass, because they've already fired, they haven't quite reset themselves yet. So your last last sip isn't as bitter or sweet or whatever your uh Whatever your taste that's at the extreme doesn't seem to go through towards the end of the glass. I don't know if that makes sense, but hey, when do I ever make sense? Guys, this has been Uncle Jonah. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to keep saying it. Click like, click subscribe down below. Please subscribe to the Uncle Jonah uh, channel. Um, we will be doing beer reviews all the way up to Christmas. And then we're going to start on some 12 days of crypto. We're going to start on some real strong vocation beers, like 8 9% beers uh, after Christmas in that week between Christmas and New Year. So there's going to be lots of videos still on this channel. But at the moment, we're concentrating on the Advent boxes. Tune in a little bit later on today and we will have day 16 from the Beer Company box as well. Guys, take care of yourselves. Remember, Christmas is all about family, looking after yourself, and don't forget to drink some beer.